Yeah. Awesome. All right. I think that's everybody. If I see anyone else come on, then uh, I'll just quickly let them in. Happy Friday. Ready for a big workout? So for today's warm up, uh, we're going to just start with the zombie march, kicking up nice and high, making sure your back is flat. So you're not bending in the back. This is going to help stretch out the back of your legs here. Just kicking as high as you can without pain or discomfort. Awesome. Again, it's just getting a good stretch through the back of your legs here. Awesome. Now we're going to do a nice wide stance. We're going to reach right arm to left toe, left arm to right toe. And we're going to keep switching just like that. Try to maintain somewhat of a neutral spine here. Get a good twist through your mid back, help loosen it up. And you also feel a stretch through your groin and through your hamstrings. Awesome. Good. Now we're going to do butt kicks. Squeezing the hamstring, getting that heel right into your bum, or you can pick it up into a jog. <laughs> awesome. Should feel that heart rate start to climb. Good, and now we're into jumping jacks. Stay light on the feet. Keep it low impact. Nice. If you want to make these harder, just start making those jacks larger. Good, and done. Now we're going to do our arm circles. This help open up your chest and warm up those shoulders. Good job, everybody. And switch. Good, hope you're feeling all loosened up, ready for a workout. And done. Just take this sweater off quick. <clears throat> okay, so we are doing two circuits today. First circuit is all leg focus. We're gonna be starting with a split squat. So just a reminder with the split squat, um, one foot in front of the other, it's essentially a stationary lunge. We're gonna go up and down just like this, okay? Now in terms of depth, the lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. So if that's too hard on your knees and hips, just shorten that range of motion. What we wanna do is try to focus on that front leg doing most of the work, okay? Three, two, one, and go. I'm starting with my left leg in front here. Four, five, six, Eight, <clears throat> ten, and twelve. Switch legs. Three, two, one, down. <clears throat> awesome. There's six. So remember, we want to keep minimal weight on the back leg. Front leg should be doing most of the work. There's eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Now we're gonna do single leg RDLs. So standing on one leg, we're gonna hinge at the hip, reach down towards the ground, bring it back up. Reach down towards the ground, bring it back up. From the side view, it's gonna look like this. Maintaining a neutral spine, reach down to the ground, and back up. You'll notice it's just a slight bend in the knee. All the action is through the hip instead, okay? 
Starting on my left leg, three, two, one, and go. So slight bend in the knee, hinging at the hip. Maintain a neutral spine and a strong core. There's five, six, seven, eight, good work, nine, 10, two more, keep that uh, core strong, and done. Switch sides, three, two, one, go. Reaching down, hinging at that hip. Keep a strong core, there's three, four, six, Eight. Good job, everybody. Almost there. Nine or three more. We're at nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. We're going to get down on the floor for a hip bridge. We're going to do a single leg bridge, but if single leg is a bit too tough, do both legs for 24 reps instead of one leg for 12 reps. Okay. So just a reminder one leg is up in the air. Squeezing your glute, bring those hips up and down, up and down. Like I said, we're gonna do 12 reps here. Most important thing, keep that hamstring relaxed. If it's cramping, you know it's activated too much. Keep it relaxed, focus on your glute and core doing the work, okay? Three, two, one, up and down. Up, down, up, down. There we go, keep that tempo. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep those hips level, glute engaged, 11, and 12. Switch legs, three, two, one, up. Awesome, there's three, four. Keep those hamstrings relaxed, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Now we're into a high plank. We're going to do mountain climbers. So, two options here. One is nice and slow, just like this, keeping a strong core and a flat back. Option two, to make it harder, running on the spot, okay? Uh, both are going to work your core effectively. It's just option two is going to bring that heart rate up higher. All right, we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So tuck that belly button up towards your spine. Keep that back flat or strong. Good job. We're almost there. Five more seconds. Push three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Get some water if you need it. We'll take a quick breather. So if you found that first round to be easy, I want you to go grab some weights or props or something nearby. That's going to make it more challenging. For props, you can hold on to cans, uh, wine bottles, laundry detergent, uh, textbooks, backpacks, whatever you want. For the split squats, if you're holding weight, either hold it at your side, up on your shoulders, or in your chest, okay? Got about 15 more seconds. Focus on your breath. So last time I started with my left leg for everything, this time I'll start with my right. If you started with your right last time, just switch it up so you're on the other side this time. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Split squats. Two, three, four. Focusing on that front leg, doing the work. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work, team. And 12. Awesome. Switch legs. I'll stand side view so you can see just in case you need a form check. 
Three, two, one, go. So again, minimal weight on the back leg. Most weight is on that front leg. It's doing all the work here. There's five. Six. Notice I'm hinging a bit forward at the hip. That's going to help you target that left glute a bit better if you're on your left leg. Good. That's 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. Now we have our single leg RDLs. If you're going to hold on to weights for this one, hold them down at your side just like this and out in front of your body, okay? As you do the set. If you find a bit too tough and you need to balance, go near a table, uh, the back of a chair if you need to support your balance or a windowsill or something. Three, two, one, and go. Nice strong core. There's two. Four. Good. Focus on your balance. Focus on your core. Six. Hinging at the hip. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Awesome. Switch legs. Three, two, one, and go. Three, awesome, make sure you're breathing, make sure that core is strong. If you need to re-tap the floor to gain your balance, that's okay. Good, there's eight, four more. Hinging at the hip, nice. There's 11 and there's 12, awesome. Down on the floor for the hip bridge. I'm starting with my right leg this time, so my left leg is in the air. Three, two, one, and up, down, up, down, up, down. Good, keep that tempo. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Three, two, one, and go. Next side. Three, four, five, six. Keep the neck and shoulders relaxed and your hamstring relaxed. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome into our high plank for the mountain climbers. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Keep that back flat, or strong. Awesome job, everybody. Keep that core tight, pulling that belly button up towards your spine. Keep breathing, we're almost there. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Awesome, get some water. Great work, everybody. Focus on your breath. Try to bring that heart rate down. Awesome. Starting in 15 seconds, so grab your weights or props if you want them. Grab your last drink of water. If you're not ready and you're doing this on demand, feel free to pause it, take a longer break. We're gonna rock and roll in three, two, one and go. So front leg does most of the work here. Three, four, six, eight, ten, 
and 12. Awesome. Switch sides. Three, two, one, and go. <coughs> two, three, four, five. Good. Keep focusing on that front leg doing the work. Looking good, team. There's eight. Just four more. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, now we have our single leg RDLs. I'll be on my left leg first. Three, two, one, and go. There's three. Strong core. Six. Focus on your balance. You got this. Just a slight bend in the knee. All the action is through the hip. Hip hinging through the hip. One more. And done. Switch sides. Three, two, one, go. Good stuff. Three. Four. Six. Awesome. We're cruising here. Try to maintain that neutral spine. Don't round too much in your back as you reach down. Awesome. Give me two more here. One and two. Awesome. Lying on your back now. We have the hip bridge. I'm going to start on my left leg again. So right leg in the air. Three, two, one, and go. Keep those hips level. Three, four, five, six, seven. Strong glute, relaxed hamstring. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome. Switch sides. Three, two, one, and go. Four, six, nice. Keep going, squeeze those glutes. Keep your hamstring and shoulders relaxed. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome, flipping over into your high plank for mountain climbers. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Good. Flat back, keep that head up, make sure it's not sinking down. So your spine and neck should all be flat. Touch that belly button up towards your spine. Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome, get some water. Great work, everyone. Get some water, get a breather, pace around the living room if that helps. Just focus on your breath, try to bring that heart rate down. The next circuit's uh, gonna be coarse, we're gonna be down on the mat. Good. Awesome, we got 15 more seconds, so grab your last swig of water and then we'll rock and roll. All right, get down to your mats. We're gonna start on your hands and knees. We're gonna do bird dogs here. We're gonna reach out opposite arm, opposite leg, bring it back in and then reach out on that same side, opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it back in and out. Every time you bring it in, try not to touch your hand and knee to the ground. Keep it elevated slightly. That's gonna challenge your core and your balance a bit more, okay? So remember, it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So keep that back flat. Try not to tap the ground to gain balance. 
There's six. Squeeze in the glute every time you kick out. Nine. 10, 11, and 12. Switch sides. Three, two, one, and go. Three. Six. Eight. Nice. Flat back, strong core. Keep it tight. 11 and 12. Awesome. Now we're lying on your back for dead bugs. These ones you will be alternating, but it is opposite arm, opposite leg. So hands up, feet up, and then stretch out opposite arm, opposite leg, bring it back in, then do the next side. Now remember, as I always say with this one, you want to keep that lower back pressed down to the ground. If you're struggling with that or your back is bugging you, then kick out higher and less far from your body. Because the further you kick away from yourself and the lower to the ground you are, the harder it is. All right? Three, two, one, and go. Keep that back flat, core strong. There's four. We're doing 12 per side, so a total of 24. We're at eight. 10. 12. 14. Good job, everybody. There's 20. Just four more. Keep that core tight. Two, three, and four. Awesome. Now your feet are going to be on the ground. Knees bent to 90 degrees. We're going to do a side crunch. You're going to do 12 reps to the one side and then 12 reps to the next side, okay? So a total of 24 again. Three, two, one, and go. So doing that side crunch, three, four, five. Good, really pull through that core. Keep the neck and shoulders relaxed. Eight, 10, and 12. Awesome, switch sides, three, two, one, go. Three, six. Good. If you're supporting your head with your hands, make sure you're not pulling that head. Use your core. Here we go. One more and done. Awesome. Now we're up off the ground. We're going to do our shuffle hop. So we're going to replace that inside foot, jumping side to side. Okay. If you want, you can add a little reach with your uh, left hand to the right toe and then right hand to left toe. We're going to do this for 30 seconds to bring up that heart rate. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Learning how to walk today. Good. Stay light on the feet. Now, the lower you stay and the larger your jumps, the harder this is going to be. So if you want to make it a little more challenging, dig deep here, jump a bit wider. You got this. We're almost there, less than five. Stay light on the feet, here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome, get some water quickly. We'll do a shorter break here. And jump right into the next one. Focus on your breath. Try to bring that heart rate down. Awesome, we're gonna rock and roll in 10 seconds. Grab your last swig of water, get down to the floor. All right, here we go, bird dogs first. So on your hands and knees, moving out opposite arm, opposite leg 12 times, and then we switch. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is my first day, there we go. I'm on it. Two, <laughs> three. Flat back, strong core. Nice. Okay, we got three more here. Keep that back flat, core strong. 
and done. Switch sides. Three, two, one, and go. Three, four. Try not to tap the ground. Focus on that balance. Focus on that core. There's seven. Pull your belly button up towards your spine. 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. Now lying on your back for the dead bugs. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Remember to keep that low back flat and your belly button pulled down to the ground. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Good work, team. There's eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-two. And twenty-four. Awesome, now we have our side crunches. Three, two, one, and go. 12 reps. Remember, if you're keeping your hands behind your head, make sure you're not pulling up through your arms. We want to pull up through your core, okay? So if your hands are behind your head, it's only to support your head. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Switch sides, three, two, one, go. Keep that core strong. Five. Good job, everyone. Keep breathing, keep squeezing. There's nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. Up for the shuffle hops quickly. Let's get that heart rate up. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Good. Stay light on the feet, try to stay low. Reaching right arm to left toe, left arm to right toe. So you're reaching across your body. Awesome, stay light on the feet, you got this. Keep it quick, feel that heart rate climb. We're almost there. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome, get some water. I'm gonna whip through one more quickly. We always get clients complaining because they don't know the coordination with bird dogs and dead bugs. And I say it happens to everyone. I've done a million of them and it just happened to me. So don't feel bad. <laughs> and remember when you're doing those side crunches, we don't want to pull through your arms, okay? We want to pull through your core instead. Your hands are just simply supporting your head and neck, okay? All right, let's rock and roll down on the ground for bird dogs. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Drawing your belly button up towards your spine. There's five. Keep that back flat. Seven, eight. Squeeze that glute, 10. And 12. Awesome. Switch sides. Three, two, one, and go. Three. Six. Eight. Keep that back flat, core strong. There's 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. Flipping over on your back for the dead bugs. Three, two, one, and go. Good. Brace your core and make sure you're breathing. There's six. Awesome. There's 12. Halfway, you got this. 14. Keep your lower back flat. 18, 20, 
22 and 24. Awesome. Feet on the ground, knees bent to 90 degrees. We got our side crunches. Three, two, one, and go. Two. Five. Six. Squeeze that core. Eight. Make sure you're not pulling your head up with your arms. 11 and 12. Awesome. Shake it out. Three, two, one. Next side. Here we go. 12 reps. Three. Awesome. Halfway. Seven. Eight. Squeeze that core. You got it. Three more. 11 and 12. Awesome. Up off the mat. Last set of shuffle hops here. Let's try to dig a bit deeper. Last set. Three, two, one, and go. So push a bit harder. Keep those feet quick. You can do it. Dig deep here. Last set. Good job, everyone. We're almost there. Keep it quick. Push hard, hard, hard. You got it right to the finish. Push, push, push. Three, two, one, and done. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Great work today. Thanks, Facebook. You guys did great. Have a good weekend. And thank you, Zoom, Zoom members. You guys did great today. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Ty. Have a good weekend, everyone. Yeah, have a great weekend, everyone.